everybody, welcome to my channel, Ashley's Treasure, and I got another haul to share with you from Hobby Lobby last night. All right, I heard that um, Hobby Lobby was having clearance on some like acrylic paint. So I went down there and they were like, all the ones that they had marked down were gone. But um, I did find this, which is repurposed. And um, yeah, I was kind of interested in this one. It's originally $9.99 and I got it for $2.49. And this color is Mocha. They had a couple different ones of these. Um, they had this Mocha one. They had um, like this olive green and like a blush pink. And then they had this like dark red one, which was called Spice. And I thought I could use this one for doing on um, like wood and stuff, maybe. And for only being $2.49, I thought it wouldn't hurt trying. But yeah, that was definitely worth it. Interior and exterior acrylic satin. So satin is part glossy and part matte. It's like in between. It's supposed to stick to any surface without sanding or priming. It levels to a beautiful smooth finish, durable and scratch resistant. So I thought, you know, this would be cool to maybe possibly try on like different wood things and give more of that stain look is what I was kind of going for. Perfect for use on wood, metal, brick, drywall, glass, steel, tile, vinyl, aluminum, most plastics, copper, repurposed furniture, cabinets, fixtures, frames, um, outdoor projects, or anything you may have in mind. It's water-based formula. It outperforms oil-based paint. I do have a website for more information how to use it, but yeah. So this will last a very long time for just that price. I didn't get any of the other ones. I only got this Smoka one because, you know, I could see myself using this brown more than the olive green blush pink or that um, spice one. I, they did have like a blue and a white, but those ones weren't marked down or else I would have got those two. And then um, uh, we went down, they still had like house decor stuff on clearance and I found this handle and it was marked down for $1.24. The nails weren't included in it this time, but I thought this, you know, I didn't think it was too big but I thought this would be like a cool handle to put on top of an album or to, you know, open up or something. Kind of like um, my traveling suitcase one. Maybe I could use this as a handle here to hang on to. Maybe, possibly. I thought that would be really pretty. On a more, you know, feminine, maybe like a garden themed flora one or something. But yeah, I thought it was pretty and it was only $1.24 and these are like originally like, aren't they like $7.99 or something like that? So that was worth it. And they wrapped this up in uh, paper thinking it was going to break. I don't think it's going to break this metal. I thought that was kind of funny. And then I looked on their clearance. Um, they didn't really have anything on the clearance wall, but I did find this really cute um, charm and it's an adventure pendant but it's like a telescope and it's got like blue here and white here. And I do want to do a junk journal. I have in mind, I've been trying to collect things of doing ones about dreams and kind of have like a galaxy one kind of. And I thought this would be great for it. They had two of them left. I should have got both of them, but it does say adventure on it here. But it was so cute. It does have some weight to it, but I thought this would be a really cute charm for it. But it was originally um, $12 and $11.99 and I got it for $1.19 so hmm kind of regret that now maybe I should have got both of them but yeah at least I got one of them and then I went down the aisle with all their like wooden stuff and my son found this um dinosaur one he really wanted and I like it because the uh dots on him are like layered on top so it gives some three dimension it was so cute it's only 99 cents so we let him get that for his room and then I found some more for like my albums. You know I have a six by six paper pad of um, like a camping theme and this reminded me of that from Echo Park. So I thought this would be great for like on a cover and it's already painted for me and everything. And oh, I didn't notice that one had a little chip there, but um, these two pine trees are layered on top, which is awesome. But I thought it was so cute. I could definitely use that for on a cover. 
And same as this bear, he was so adorable. And his um, arms are layered on top, so it gives some 3D to it. And I know I have um, from the paper pads that were on clearance from Hobby Lobby, one of my last hauls, um, there's a woodland one with bears in it, and I might use this for that. And then I found this unicorn, and it has some glitter on it, and I know I have a paper pad um, like last year which has the same exact unicorn on there. So I'm going to have to make, now that I have this, I have to make a album with this on the cover. Because I know it's that same exact one. And then I found these little pretty ones. It's got little cactuses and flowers. I'm pretty sure I got some paper that pads that has that design on it. So I thought these would be good for on albums too. Ever since I used the one on the farm one that I've been making. I'm kind of really into these. I can't remember the exact date, but um, a couple weeks ago I did a haul from Hobby Lobby when I was looking for that paper to be reduced, but that my store didn't have it yet. So that's when I went down all the wooden stuff and that's when I started finding these. And I used this one. I actually painted it because this one was just solid color. But yeah, I really like how that turned out. And it gives, you know, some dimension and stuff, but not too much. And I love how it turned out. I had a hard time painting this at first because I put gesso on it, white gesso. And then I painted it gray with acrylic paint. And then I used um, Primo Marketing's, you know, um, what is it? It's like the rustic texture paste. And it has like a... Um, mustardy yellow rusty color and like a dark brown and I can't remember what the other color was but I tried using all those and it was just too bold and it just wasn't the right colors so I put the gray acrylic paint over it and like toned it down and it looked a lot better and then um I then but it, I like it because it left some texture on here so it makes it look more rusty and then I used my colored pencils and, you know, did all these and did more shading and stuff on this and outlined here so you can see, you know, what went where, you know, because was, there's was no, there no lines on here or anything. But, yeah, I colored in between all there and it, it looks a lot better now and I really like how it turned out. Because that rustic color is definitely going with this whole, like, farm theme, you know, rustic feel. And these are those um, huge stickers die cut stickers that I've been getting at Hobby Lobby where they're like I think they're like $4.99 and I've been getting them like when they're half price for $5.99 and this was perfect it went with it just right and then I just got some extra white cardstock and I'd use my die cut and it was like the circle I had was like a little bit smaller than here and then this side and it seemed like too thick so I just took some black thread that I've been using I've been stitching all the way through here and I just hand stitched it through here and I just I love the way this turned out so far and here's that ribbon that I got too at Hobby Lobby Ugh, I'm loving this but yeah it's in a good start so far I like it but yeah I'm loving these wooden pieces for on covers and then I went down their sticker aisle and they had some stickers still marked down, but I wasn't really huge into them. But I did find this animal one, which I like puppy stickers, the pop-up. And it was for 99 cents, and it had all these zoo animals on here. So I thought I could use this for scrapbooking pictures of my son when we used to go to the zoo. Especially this uh, brown bear, because there were two brown bears at the zoo we loved going to. And they were just so hilarious to watch. We loved watching them all the time. And then there's tigers, too. There's... um this spot where they're brothers and one time um one of them was at the glass and uh, my son was walking back and forth and the tiger was following him it was hilarious he was just having a blast it's like he was like tag you're it and then he'll run to the other side and the tiger would just follow him and just oh my god they were doing it forever it was so cute so i could use that for that and there's lions and oh my gosh oh and they just got those two at the zoo too we need to go back there. It's been a long time. Oh, and they got chimpanzees there and they got those fox there. So they got almost all these animals there. So I could definitely use those for 99 cents too. And then I got another one of these mermaids because I just thought that they're the cutest thing ever. The other one I got was that really pretty butterfly, but they didn't have any more of the butterflies. Or else I would have got more of them that I got in my last haul. But yeah, originally $4.99 for $1.24. So I got another one of her. And then I did find this one next to it. It says Good Vibes. And I know I have a paper pad that has that whole girls, you know, kind of teenage girl. And I remember it saying Good Vibes and it was like this. So I thought this would be cute. 
because it looks like a giant patchwork and I thought this would be cute for on a cover. I'm gonna see what the back looks like. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. So yeah, it's already stuck on there. It's got like a, um, some foam, it's like sticky foam in the back of it. So yeah, I thought this would be great for on the cover. I love the texture and everything. And it's like sparkly colors, like glittery colors. So that's really cool. So I'll definitely use that for that album. And then um, I saw there was a lot of orange tags down their jewelry aisles where their beads and stuff was. And I found this one. I thought it was really interesting. They're wooden beads and they're triangles. And I love this distressed look to it. And it's got that minty color and the white. And it was originally $2.99 for 74 cents. And I love it because it gives me that, um, I know I have like a lot of beach theme things that are like that and it would go perfect with it. And I can use like for albums. I thought I could add these on for like little charms hanging off of it. I thought that'd be so pretty. I might even use these. It is a little thick, but I would use these for um, some scrapbooking I would do. I just, I love it. And I might use some of this like on covers of junk journals or um, albums maybe. But yeah, for 74 cents, I thought it was definitely worth it. I just, I love that distressed beachy color thing going on. I couldn't believe when I saw this. They had lighthouses. I've never seen lighthouse ones. And originally $3.99 I got for $0.99. Cents. I should have got a couple of these. I love it so, so much. Uh, I should have got more. I don't know why I only grabbed one. I'm going to be like hoarding this. I love it for $0.99. Cents. And then they also had these really cute little arrows. And I like how it's like silver. Because then it's got like that gold there overlapping it for 99 cents for little earring charms but I would use them for you know junk journals and stuff for little charms and for um albums too but it was just so adorable 99 cents and then I found these ones which were really cute um this one has an owl a bumblebee and then an elephant and this was $1.49 originally $5.99 and they got the gold around it and they even has the little hoops already for it and I didn't realize so I took it out of the bag that the back of them all have this really pretty design as well I thought it was just plain so that is so pretty so definitely using these for charms for um, albums and junk journals that's so pretty love it that was definitely worth it I would have got a couple of them but I knew the back was pretty too and then they had a lot of these the little snap charms but this one had like um, it was a little bit different than the other ones, but I thought these were great for using snap-ons for um, the covers of albums. And this was originally $2.99 for $0.74. Cents. Like, I've used a charm on one of my albums. Oh, where is it? Let me go find it. Like, on this one, I used a little snap-on for um, my closure. So, I thought this was a really pretty one to use as a little snap-on for closure for an album. So it was so cute. They had a couple different kinds, but I don't know. This The backs of the other ones seemed a little hard to use, so I only grabbed this one. And his eyes are like orange or like champagne colored little gems. But he was so cute. And then I found a bunch of these. The brand is called Metal Gallery. I was trying to see what it said here. But they're supposed to be nickel free. And they're like little, really small like ones that you would use for jewelry. They had a bunch of these and they had like, um, you know, they had like silver, you know, they had gold, they had like brass in like all the different colors. So I only grabbed a couple of them. Um, they were $1.24, but these two I actually got for 99 cents, which I didn't realize. But um, this one is teeny tiny little hearts. Can you see that? But they're little gold hearts. And I know I have a lot of like um, baby girl paper to do baby girl albums and I thought these would be really cute to add as charms with because I know some of them have gold foil so this would go great with them for little dangles and stuff and then these gold flowers as well because a lot of them has flowers in with it and then um in the silver I got these like diamonds I thought those were really pretty and there's a lot in there and then sometimes you need just something in between your beads, you know, instead of just all beads. And then I thought this was a really nice design as well. And then I got the like um, 
grass colored. This one looked like leaves to me, so I really liked that one. So I grabbed that one. And then this one is great to put on top of round beads, you know. So that's great. I love those. So originally $5 and I got them for $1.24 or $1.24. And then these ones that were $3.99 for $0.99. Cents. So that was definitely worth it. And that's it that I got from Hobby Lobby last night. So yeah, I should have got more of these. But um, I'm happy with what I got. And you should definitely check them out. They're really good deals. And so, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it as much as I did. If so, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. Talk to you later. Bye.